Hello everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel, Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. So today I'm going to show you how I did this setup for a client's birthday party this past weekend. The client wanted all lavender and lilac toned balloons, so if you want to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Now I'm going to be using Tough Texas Blossom Purple in 17 and 5 inch and Calisan Mirror Purple in 12 inch and 5 inch. So I'm going to be blowing the balloons up two at a time and then tying them together into dupes. But first I'm going to press them down against the floor, release some of the air so that the balloons are not over inflated. I'm doing this to round them out and also to give the balloons room to expand when they're outside in the heat. Then I am going to pre-stretch my mirror purple balloons because they tend to come out coney in shape. And I'll blow those balloons up as well, two at a time, round them out and tie them together into dupes. And now I'm twisting my dupes into clusters. And when I'm doing this, I am double twisting them into the clusters to make sure that they're nice and secure in there. And notice that I blew up my blossom purple balloons into different sizes. That's because I couldn't find the 12 inch balloons in this color. So for the mirror purple, I twisted together six dupes of balloons, which is 12 balloons total. And for the blossom purple, I twisted five dupes, which is 10 balloons total. Now, normally I would connect my clusters by taking one neck from one balloon in one cluster and a neck from a balloon in another cluster and tying them together. However, those 17 inch balloons were not allowing that to happen. It was hard for me to stretch the necks long enough to tie them together. So I ended up having to use a 260 balloon to connect these clusters together. For those of you who are not familiar, a 260 balloon is basically that long stretchy balloon that you use to make balloon animals out of. You can get them in different brands. Um, I like to use Semprotex brand. So basically I tied the 260 around one of the balloons in the blossom purple cluster and then I wrapped it around several balloons in the mirror purple cluster and then wrapped it back around into that blossom purple and tied the 260 into itself. And that is how I'm connecting the clusters of this balloon garland with the 260 balloons. Again, you want to make sure you wrap it around several balloons in each cluster to make sure that they are connected and secure. So here is the base of my balloon garland. It's six feet long and I made another six foot garland to add on to this one when I got on site. So I'm using a 260 balloon to attach one of the six foot garlands to the pole of the tent. Then I'm using another 260 balloon to attach the two six foot garlands together. And then I'm just attaching them along the frame of the tent. Once the garland is attached, I'm just trying to shape it out and add on some clusters where I feel like they needed to be added. Now it was over a hundred degrees this day. So I had to be mindful when I was adding balloons to make sure that I under inflated them because as I mentioned before, the heat will cause these balloons to expand and pop if they're overinflated. And now I'm adding clusters of five inch balloons to this garland using 260 balloons. Man, it was so hot that day. I got there at 1030 in the morning and I was done in an hour and I was dripping wet and sweat. That's why it's important to use quality balloons because their party didn't even start until five. So you need some balloons that's gonna be able to withstand that heat. So I added some bubble balloons as an accent to this garland. When blowing them up, I like to twist the neck around several times and then tie a 260 around the neck twice to make sure that the balloons do not lose air. And then I just tie those balloons to the balloon garland using that 260. You wanna be careful with these bubble balloons. I noticed that they're very sensitive to the heat. Also, I opted out of using balloon shine to restore the shininess of the balloon garland. And that's because it was so hot outside and the balloon shine can cause the latex to cook and make the balloons pop. So I didn't want to take that chance. Besides, I think the mat looks really good on this type of balloon garland. So here is the finished product for my lavender lilac balloon setup. 
So butterflies were added to complete the look and I really found them to be a great complement to the lilac color and bubble balloons. So if you found this video to be helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.